Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios here for another reaction video. Today, Patrice O'Neill talks about techniques and tips about how to get women. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. I say, tell a bitch you look like your breath stinks. <laughs> oh, that's how you get kicked in the balls. Rick, I, that's, that's how my you get approach. kicked in the balls. Okay? Like I said, I'm a bear hunter. Dante, I go up and I got a trap <laughs> and a bat. Dante goes up with water and honey and quiet and shoes, Snickers. slippers, uh -oh, quiet shoes, uh -oh. and, and Snickers, and, 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 and <laughs> pets them, and they earn his confidence. I go to a bear who's ready to fight anyway, and I go, "You make me sick, you goofy bear," and that bitch goes, Rawr. and then I. Yeah, that's that technique does work. Uh, again, the opposite of love isn't hate. The opposite of love is indifference. So if you make a girl feel emotions, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, it works. If you're constantly in that argumentative type relationship, it works great. Uh, of course, it's very annoying, but you can you can definitely do it, and it will definitely work, for sure. I fucking, I got all my bad shit. In the head with so my thing is, I prepare for rejection because my thing is, I believe I can turn hate into love. Emotion is emotion. That's right. So my yeah, theory, my theory, dog, is like okay. I, I get the bitch at her highest level of hatred for me and right, then right, turn right. it around. But he should get used to animosity from a bitch. Well, he needs he to should go start to with the gerbils. school of bear hunting instead of... No, he should start with gerbils I mean, so and work his way up to I'm, bears. I've gotten a number of a chick because I said, hey, you know, I think I'm somewhat attracted to you. And Nigga, she's, do you realize and she's, that that's bear hunting right there? Right. Because if you're saying I'm somewhat attracted to you, what what are you actually saying? You're saying, I'm the prize. And then the girl's going to go, what, what? What do you mean you're the prize? I'm the prize, right? And she, she's going to get indignant. And women love indignation, right? And of course, then she's going to be interested in you. Because most of the boring, you know, loser guys out there, you know, most of the guys that don't know anything about anything, what do they do? They're afraid to hurt the girl. They're afraid to even talk to the girl. They're afraid to say anything that might upset her. Because if they do, they think in their mind, Oh, if I make her feel any kind of bad, it's going to be bad for me. But that's not actually how it works. Because women love indignation. They love um, cycling their emotions. So, of course, if you convince them to cycle their emotions, or if you, if you provoke that, it's going to have a really good outcome, right? Um, but, of course, it won't be stable, right? You're either going to have pain... Or you're going to have boredom. <laughs> it's just like Schopenhauer says. Yeah, but it's, it ain't, that is some it ain't your breath shit. shit. It is backhanded. But it ain't bear hunting. It's still. So she was like, what? I was like, I think it's you're somewhat attractive. I, I drove up. I drove up. I drove up. I said, I said that I'm Hilarious. Attra somewhat attracted to you. And she said, what? She's somewhat. I'm like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Yeah, because girls, again, expect to be the prize, right? It's turning the dynamic on its head. Because women feel that they're the prize. And I mean, um, unless you're Chad, like women are, right? If you're a bottom 95% guy, then you get nothing in 2023 especially. So this double applies to 2023. Uh, it, back then when these guys were talking, which was in the, what, uh, early 2000s? It wasn't like that, but now it is. So there you go. Anyway, uh, shilling time. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Go to my Patreon and subscribe. Patreon.com slash the Helios blog. One more time. Patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, Tom M. Shout out to them. Link is in the description. Just click more under the video and then the, you'll see the links there. Um, you can also buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. So I have the strategist guide to seduction and I have quotes to live by. Uh, those two are on my website. Okay. Um, all right. Back to the video. Somewhere. I said, well, I'm just being honest. I just, I just, and I'm trying not to figure out what I'm feeling. And so she fell for that. Uh, and, but it wasn't the honesty they fell for. Look, son, I pulled up, I pulled up next to a bitch in a car. I know what you, I know what you And a bitch had an afro, and I said, I, let 
I'm gonna say something. You look, this car's nice. I'm sitting there trying to figure out if I like that dumb hair doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> right, and this girl thinks she's hot. You know, she's she's hot, uh, a hot commodity. And then she gets hit with that. And imagine if you're having just a regular old day, right? You know, just a normal day. And all of a sudden, somebody says that to you. It's going to make your emotions go nuts, right? The girls, it's going to spike the girl's emotion like crazy. So, of course, of course, that works. Of course, it works. And then I roll my window back up. <laughs> and she gave you her number? She that gave bitch you in the car? rolled it down and said, fuck your haircut, too. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably get a better barber, bitch, but my haircut don't matter as much as yours. Now, you should be with... You don't have a man to tell you your fucking hair is that fucked up, do you? Oh, and she's like, you're an asshole. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's just a tactic to spike the emotions, right? No, that's... Of course. And this will work, again, Patrice is very vulgar, it's very in your face, but the principle underneath what he's doing is sound, right? You don't have to do exactly what Patrice does. This is, this is Patrice's strategy, right? That he uses for himself. But it does work, guys. You can't argue with the results. I mean, he did, like, as a, you know, fat guy, get uh, a girl much prettier than himself. Of course, one could argue because she's a single mother, um, you know, she's lowered her own attractiveness. So it's, um, you know, it's not the same. But uh, still, he punched above his weight class in terms of looks, definitely, with the girl he's with. By providing, you know, uh, an experience that most guys are unable to provide, right? Certainly. You know, back in high school, nigga punch in the arm, he really liked you. I, I was just, I just it's didn't know what bra. to say. I didn't know what to say because <laughs> she, she was so beautiful. Ah, I see. Yeah, and I were going up and down. Goofy bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely, this would work. He's go just going up and down, right? He's playing with the girl's emotions, right? She's going up and she's going down. Right? She, like, like when I say up, I mean uh, uh, anger or whatever, uh, high emotion, and then down, like feeling calm and like complimented, and then back up, and then back down, and then back up, and then back down. Again, girls, they love to cycle their emotions, right? So, of course, if you're good at cycling a girl's emotions, she'll be with you forever, right? And there's many different ways of doing it, right? There's dread, which is the fear of losing you. There's, you know, what Patrice is doing, which is, you know, um, jabbing at her, right? These are called negs, right? And negs do work. Um, so, yeah, there's you can do that. Um, you can have insanely high value, you know, provide a lot of value, be tall, strong, confident, charismatic, all of that, um, etc. There's many, many ways. Uh, and sometimes all of the ways. Um, and certainly being uh, better than her in every way, right? Taller, stronger, fitter, faster, uh, more charismatic, more friends, better friends, ev all of that. So, there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, it's, definitely a, it's definitely a different approach. <laughs> Y'all are so fucking goofy. And let me... <laughs> Let me tell women are fucking dumb, because let me tell you why you're so fucking stupid. Here we go. Like guys sit here all day long, and this is what we do. We fucking go back and forth about different ways to get a bitch. Why? Because and you know what y'all do? Powerful. You sit on that. that take up that much money time. You, sweat, you sit uh. on that hairy fish and just <laughs> wait. <laughs> a hairy <laughs> fish? <laughs> you see? You see what I'm saying, guys? Mess and wait for, for, and judge the lines that they're judging now. Yeah. Like me and Dante oh, sitting there saying, this is what we're going to say, this is what I'll say, this is what you say. And y'all sitting there going, that is goofy. Until, it, and until that they is get hit out. with it. And so we're going back and forth yeah. <laughs> like true peers about this shit. I'm like, saying Harry this. And then, <laughs> but that's how my man that we just talked to, he has to look at it like that. Because that's what it is. Rich, it ain't no. special to us. It's something to we want to pop. So, hey. a, a vagina's not, we make it too special. It's just. It is special. To you. And to you, because you keep talking about uh, it. It's special because we're trying to fuck it. It's like food. It's, it's, 
<laughs> Especially in a context. But it ain't magical. It's not necessarily delicious. It is magical. Some have glitter. No. It ain't better than my dick. <laughs> you see? We all do the same thing with it. Pee with it and fuck with it. What else you do with your pussy uh, besides a baby and some blood? Nothing ah! else! <laughs> you see, guys? Like, again, what's the point? What's the, the underlying idea before, behind what he said? Men are the prize, right? The way he's saying it is hilarious, right? Obviously, but and and it makes people go like, what? You know, like they, they react strongly. But that's that's what he's saying. He's saying men are the prize, right? Like what men can do, what men can provide is worth more than what women can provide. And I mean, if you look at it, men are providing much more because women are hypergamous. They only go after men that do provide more. Women aren't attracted to men that they consider their equal. They're only attracted to men that they consider better than them. So, there it is. All right. On to the chapter by Rolo Tomasi from his book, The Rational Male. This is the five stages of unplugging. I once read an article about the five stages of grief and how they apply to coming into acceptance of a previously rejected truth. Yes, I know there's no end to the ridiculous interpretations of this played out pop psychology list. But I was curious about how this might apply to an AFC coming to grips with unplugging from the Matrix. So I did a bit of searching, and what I did find on my blog roll search was this. 1. Denial. Still plugged in. These game guys are a bunch of clowns. There's no way this works on women. Women aren't stupid. What a bunch of M-words. Number 2. Anger and post-RP awareness. This is ridiculous. Why should I have to jump through all these hoops for women? I just want to be myself. Why couldn't I have been a natural alpha? I blame my parents, siblings, teachers, God, liberals, womanists, media, and society. Maybe those famous um, bad guys weren't so crazy after all. Three, bargaining and unplugged. Well, maybe it does have some good points, but forget the hot girls. They're way out of my league. I'll give it a try if it can help me get around the bases with the plain Jane. Do I have to wear the fuzzy hat and black nail polish? Number four, depression. Bitter taste of the RP. Wow. Women really respond to this puffed up act and guys spend big bucks on it and wind up with more else than a, a toilet seat. And I just joined up for this. The world is sad and so am I. And then there's acceptance, game awareness. Maybe this is the way things really work. I guess I should give up the gender relational mythology I've been holding on to. Hey, what do you think of these negs I came up with? And there's six, which is jaded or MG toe. Uh, man, I don't want to learn all these rules. Bedroom fun isn't worth it, and women aren't that fun anyway. The last thing I want to do is learn routines of the five stages of pickup. There's too many websites, too much to read. I can't remember it all, much less sort it all out. Who has all that time to go out and chat up women anyway? It's not like I see any women under 40 at work at my engineering job to practice on. Video games and the P word are more fun and more available. I just have to look good and let the women come to me. I get a ton of private messages from forum members and read threads about guys with friends or relatives in or just getting over horrible relationships and how they've tried to unplug them only to run into stiff resistance. Look at this process, uh, looking at this process of acceptance is no wonder why. Okay, so that's that. And uh, let's go back to, let's go back to the video. <laughs> and that ain't got nothing to do with me, that's God. God did it to you. <laughs> My dick gets hard or it gets soft, I pee with it, and that is it. And I put it in you. Put it in you. Yeah. Why is your pussy better than my dick? It's, it, it, no, it, you need it, a retreat. You need to there actually is a biological reason for this, by the way. And I've already mentioned this in other videos. Biologically speaking, sperm is cheap and eggs are expensive. This is why women are the choosy agenda. This is why, uh, you know... Tender and stuff are facilitators of hypergamy, right? Why girls only swipe right on the top 5% of men. That's why. Because only those guys are attractive to these girls. The rest of the guys are either useful idiots, right? Supporting their lifestyle or giving them validation. Or, you know, like that. Or they're invisible, totally. So do you have a email. camp? Like, seriously, do you have like a retreat? We need to have a girls camp and a boys camp, and we need to. And you know what happens? And I'll be in the boys camp. I will. Yeah. I will <laughs> let. You are Poppy, you're not helping. You're Suck not it. fucking helping, Poppy. Sucking Jason's Jesus dick. Christ. You should be in the woods sucking. <laughs> Jerry. Sucking Jason with his hockey mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga, I can't kill nobody. Kill. I just came. 
You need like a men's retreat, like a weekend. No, but here's the thing: you may think it's anger. Like, look it. I, that's why I like Carib here too, by the way, because Carib can take a nice beating. <laughs> It's not personal. It's frustration. I live the frustration of what y'all do to us. This is what you, you, this is not Karis. This is not you. It's not Poppy. I this is baby. every single one of these motherfuckers out here. <laughs> y'all are Yeah. Sadly, right? Once you understand women's nature, this is uh, you know, th this is the result, right? It's constant frustration. Again, literally as Schopenhauer says, life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom, right? So, like, if you're not suffering, you're bored. Right? It's one or the other. It's very funny. But anyway, uh, that's it, right? And every man who's had multiple girls knows exactly what Patrice is talking about with the annoying behavior. And there is nothing you can do to prevent it because women are emotional creatures, right? All you can do is understand women's nature and what works, right? And what works is cycling the emotions. What works is being superior. What works is having game. What works is being good at bedroom fun. What works is working on yourself and keeping yourself as the mental point of origin. That's what works. The other stuff doesn't work. Being nice doesn't work. Caring, it doesn't work. Uh, being her emotional T word doesn't work. Uh, you know, kissing up to her and putting her on a pedestal doesn't work. These things, uh, you know, living, trying to be the Disney prince for her doesn't work. <laughs> like being a nice guy doesn't work. These are all things that you're taught to be that don't work. All they're there for is to muddy the waters, right? It's there to trick you into living your life for someone else, right? into not achieving your own biological imperative. It's sacrificing yourself to achieve women's biological imperative, which of course doesn't favor you. It favors them. So why do it? Okay, let's continue. You are annoying. You don't think, like, you see us going back and forth with this trying to have a concept about fucking what, like it seems like, and the we're meaning. trying to figure out different mean? ways how to do it. And it comes from market research. That's right. I have That's right. Research, yes. Hey, what am I going to say? Because I say the same thing to everybody. The RP is market research. That's right. It's men coming together and sharing notes, right? And this makes men, apparently, it makes them evil, you know? It makes them M words. It makes them A words. It makes them the worst people alive. It makes them, you know, far right extremists. Like, no, men are just trying to figure out what it takes to actually get laid and not get tricked and waste their time. Like, that's that doesn't make men evil. It makes them truth seekers. What's wrong with that? Bitch, if I saw you driving through the um, through, through, <laughs> I would say I would have to read you. Like, if I see a bitch at a, a BJ's, like going to BJ's. And I'll say this. I'll walk by a chick and go, I'll look at her up and down with disgust, and I'll go, never mind, you probably got kids, you're shopping at BJ's, bitch. And then, <laughs> she'll go, excuse me? Never mind, nothing, baby. Go get your um giant bucket of uh, mustard for your 16 kids. I don't have no kids. Uh, really? For your for your fucking information, you got to have kids. Come on, sweetie, go get a um giant a uh, giant thing of pepper. 60, 60 ounces of mustard. Why are you mustard? here, motherfucker? You must got kids. No, nah, I just, they have a, these big steaks I like in the back. I'll be out of here quick. Matter of fact, that's why I don't have a cart, bitch. Go get your, your, your diapers. And, your and then she'll go, la, la, and I'll go. I'm sorry, I'm just playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally. That's, that's accurate. Very, very accurate. Uh, yeah. So, basically, uh, if you're spiking the emotions, it's working, right? And that's, that's the point there. So, again, you gotta think about what, what will work to spike the emotions. And ultimately, if you are spiking the emotions, then you're good to go. If you're not, well, you're going to have a bad time. So, that's that. All right, uh, back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just playing around. Yeah. You know. uh, what you getting? What you getting? I'm just playing. Well, why do you have to incite people to get them to talk? Because she's emotional, emotional, and she emotional. knows I can control her now. Now her pussy's the way a little bit. Yes, sir. I gave her some emotion. That's why I tell my girl, you don't get mad at I, nobody. Hey. Don't you ever get mad at no nigga. That means you got excess passion you giving away, bitch. 
<laughs> that, that you are not giving to me. The emotion got to come up and it's got to go Watch down. Watch your body. Gotta... I can, I... At, ask Danny about his cousin with the. So. <laughs> with what? <laughs> with <laughs> my necklace. What, the peacock? I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to say nothing. I didn't no. have to say nothing. Dante, I brought my cousins to a, a show at Stand of New York. And uh, Dante just sat down at the table. Didn't even. Didn't have to say a word. A word. My cousin looks at his, his fucking stupid rattlesnake necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a is that a rattlesnake tail? Is that a rattlesnake tail? And immediately I knew, and 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 I'm sure Dante knew too. At the at the same instant, she was hooked. And it she, was, she oh. had just been caught like and a fucking fish. Right. Well, that's exactly right because you sparked interest, right? And if you spark interest, well, there you go. That's the point. The point is, she came to him. Now, of course, if a girl starts a conversation with you. You're already in. That's already half the battle. She's chosen to have that conversation with you. Women understand subcommunication, guys. If she's saying that, you're great. Um, and, and more than this, uh, basically Dante is giving her the uh, an easy excuse to lure herself in by wearing interesting stuff, right? It's an easy excuse for her to, to mention something, to start a conversation. And if she does, well, that's a win. Okay, let's continue. You all have your base. His jewelry is, is it's, it's meticulous and it's plain. <laughs> yeah. What, what did you like shiny like things? I wore a shiny yellow coat today. You do like shiny things. <laughs> you know, I wore a yellow coat and a hat with yellow shit on it. Because bitches like yellow. That says cooch, by the way. It's <laughs> <laughs> not coochie, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I wish I had that. Well, I can't that, see the Brennan flag. That, 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 that said big pussy on it. So, <laughs> it's the thing, it's got, too. It's got to be real specific. Here's, here's an epiphany I just had just now. It's not just a coach. If I'm a hunter animal, I hunt, I have to turn them into animals. So, if I'm a hunter bear and I need aggression, you gotta get, I got to make bring it this aggressive. Because <laughs> I, I have my bat and my bear honey. Your bat and my, with the nail in it. And, and my poison fish. <laughs> the poison to salmon. Knock you out, so you wake up fish. locked up. Now I have my bat That's and my. Illegal. I have my <laughs> bear hunting. <laughs> I have my bear hunting tools. Now if this bitch is. I can't just go up and hit a deer in the back of the head. <laughs> I'll feel bad. So I have to get. I have ah. my bear hunting tools. So I have to get a bitch to be a bear. I gotta find him. I gotta get a bitch to go. And the audacity of a fat motherfucker saying, you look like your breath stink, <laughs> makes them mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's audacity. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and, and it works. And, and, and it works. And then, then, when I fuck, when I'm good in the sack, when I'm good in the sack, that's the only thing I told you I don't have. I don't have a baby arm dick. If I was blessed, God knows if he gave me a baby arm be dick. Havoc. There'd be bitches in here packed like sardines. Just st I'll go, you stand there and you bitch, you get on top of a, like a. Yeah, that's, again, to each his own, right? Everybody has their own endowments, shall we say. So, life is life. Okay, uh, let's go on to the Reddit article. Uh, this one was posted nine hours ago from Relationship Advice. Uh, so the girl's 25 and the guy is 30. She says she's withholding bedroom fun due to no commitment. And it seems like a form of manipulation. We currently live together, raising our five-month-old baby. We've not really been together for a few years. I'll give a simple timeline. Started dating in 2017, broke up 2019, started hooking up in 2021. She got pregnant we moved in together seven months ago and started sleeping together again three months ago i want to be with her and i've made that clear to her that she doesn't want the same thing so we've just been hooking up i'm over it we're living in the same house raising a baby acting like a couple but she doesn't see us being in a relationship i decided to have some respect for myself and i'll no longer have bedroom fun with her if we're not in a committed relationship and i'm serious i've explained all of this to her but she must have thought i was bluffing last night she tried and i rejected her again and she said that it seemed like a form of manipulation I'm not trying to force her to be with me. But what I want to be in a relationship with someone that feels forced to be with me. I'm just saying that I no longer want to act as if we're a couple if there's no commitment. I just want to ask if I'm going about this the right way. Wait, this is very weird. So the guy is withholding bedroom fun because the girl's not giving 
relationship? I don't understand. So what, he's Chad and she wants to date a different guy with more money or something? I don't even understand what's going on here. Okay, let's look at the top comment. You are right, you set your boundaries. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, 63 upwards. To her, it might seem a, a form of manipulation as it's, ta uh, as it's really close to we do not have a relationship. On the other hand, precisely that could be said about her behavior also. Uh, okay... 51 of us. She moved in because we decided it'd be easier for us to take care of a newborn while living together. It's been easier, but now that he's getting older, it's not as necessary as it was when he was just born. It's my house, so she can't kick me out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Quite apart from ju not just wanting to be her live-in vibrator and co-nurse maid, you may want to start dating other people at some point. And screwing around with her while dating someone else would be pretty disrespectful. Yeah, she's trying to have a cake and eat it too. Yeah, basically. That's that's what people are saying. I mean, yeah, I, I think so. I think she wants to go and marry a richer guy or something. Like, like not want a relationship with the guy and have a kid with him. It's so weird. All right, we're going to end the video there. Okay, if you're new to the channel, liking the content, hit that sub, hit all the notifications, go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash the headiest blog. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, Tom M, shoutouts to them. Link is in the description, just click more, that's under the video. Buy my books at bit.ly slash heliosbooks. Take care of yourselves, guys. Thank you for listening to the end, and I'll see you next time.